Hey, it's Jonathan. Thanks for joining me today. I hope this video finds you in good fortune. Uh, you know, when talking about the blockchain and decentralization, the blockchain is only as decentralized as its individual parts. Uh, today I want to talk about a project called Iagon, and essentially what this is is the give, going to give you the ability to, in essence, stake your own storage. So. Uh, also, make sure you check out our blockchain friends, Magic Square NFT, uh, marketing, uh, logo, design, masters, art by Anora, excellent artist, oil painter, uh, and soon to be NFT uh, distributor, Cardano Station, first uh, playable metaverse on Cardano. Uh, they're having their land mint for their income properties, which will give you a cut of the income that comes in from those properties. Make sure you check those projects out, all being built on Cardano. Alright, so Iagon. It's going to give you the ability to essentially stake your own storage. You know, when you think about everything slowly rolling over to uh, cloud processing and, you know, cloud computing, uh, all the files are being uploaded, all your files are being uploaded, stored on the cloud, and the cloud is not necessarily an array of computers. It's more like an array of Google computers or an array of Amazon computers, Amazon server or Google computers, uh, Microsoft. Uh, these are the IBM. You know, these are the people. It's not necessarily stored in, you know, in a cloud somewhere. Uh, it's stored on, you know, three or four computers, uh, data centers. So... Now, those data centers might be in multiple locations, but they're still owned by the same people. So the blockchain really is only as decentralized as the storage that it's on, right? So this is where Iagon comes into play. They're, um, you know, securing. Iagon is building decentralization with compliance for Web3. Uh, the key features and compatibilities, decentralized network to ensure that users storing data are in complete control of their files, high security uh, through file encryption, encoding, and our unique sharing algorithm. We are able to store files with any desired degree of redundancy and security. Network performance explorer performance is performance is explored continuously to provide accurate status of the network, live information, and rewards for those that provide storage capacity. Made for Web3, embracing the future of the of metaverse, it is the decentralized cloud storage for the virtual world, deploying D apps and storing NFTs on a trustless and permissionless network. Blockchain technology built on Cardano, the green and environmentally friendly blockchain due to its cost-effective stability, interoperability, and smart contract cap capability. If you want to go down here and look at the roadmap, you see that it was actually a project that started on the on Ethereum, and it's since then it's moved over. To Cardano and also they're creating an Ethereum Cardano bridge. In fact, they've got it uh, semi up and running. Uh, make sure you check that out. I'm just going to do a light overview to give you an idea of what the project's about and where they're at right now. Um, they also have a ISPO. If you're interested, if you have some extra stake and you want to put it somewhere, you can pick up some of their tokens by joining their ISPO. A great way to invest in the project and become involved in it in a passive way. So let's go over here to earn. So if you provide storage, then you're going to be rewarded for that. So you're basically, you're going to be staking your storage. Okay, you have extra storage, you have a server, uh, multiple servers, you have some storage, then you can stake your storage. So Iagon aims, aims at marketing is easy for everyone to contribute to the decentralized cloud storage network and earn from it. Okay, 
So resource provider, who is a resource provider? Anyone, let's see, let me scroll down a little bit. Anyone who provides storage capacity in the marketplace is a resource provider, be it a data center or a private user with spare storage space. So you're staking your storage. This is going to help decentralized, you know, everybody wants a decentralized uh, blockchain and and um, and all that kind of stuff. This is a way you're, like I said, it's, you know, the blockchain's only as decentralized as the sum of its parts. So, I mean, we need to have decentralized cloud storage. Um, we need to have a decentralized uh, internet provider as well. So these are things that we need to be looking at in the future. We've got the blockchain and now we need to build a decentralized infrastructure for that blockchain to operate on. Okay. Who can join the network? Who can join the node network? Anyone will be able to use our open source software to create nodes on our network. Initially, we will be focusing on enterprise grade resource providers and trusted nodes. So to get up and running, they're going to do, uh, you know, resource grade providers and trusted nodes. But anyone, eventually, you're going to be able to onboard on this system and provide storage. How will we connect to the node? Data center operators can use uh, setup, use can set up a node via our open source code following the instructions. Contact us if needed. Blah, blah blah. Rewards and payment. What currency is used for reward payments? We use stable coins as a default means of payment to trade storage between uh, storage providers and consumers. You can also uh, receive the AI, um, IAG token, which is their native token. Let's go over here and look about the team. So here's the team here. Uh, very easily researched. They have links to their uh, GitHubs and their LinkedIn pages. Again, this is what I like to see. I want to look at the team. I want to look at the partners. Uh, it doesn't matter. I've, I've said 50 times. It doesn't matter how great the vision is. If you don't have a good team or you don't have good partners, um, well, if you don't have a good team to start with, then the vision's, you know, it doesn't matter how good it is. It's not going to go anywhere because, um, you know, you got to have to have a team to build the project out. So I encourage you to do your own research. Research the team. Look into them. But this is a project I'm definitely interested in myself. I like to see a good team. In fact, this is part of the Genius X crowd. Um, so uh, make sure that you uh, take a look at look at that. So they have some good partners, and I'm uh, really interested in this project. This is essential to a, a decentralized uh, blockchain. All right. Well, that's about it. Uh, you know, thanks for watching this video. Uh, make sure you give me a like, subscribe. Uh, liking the video will help spread the word. I really appreciate it. Um, subscribe to the channel. Comment on the video. I really do appreciate comments. Just say anything. Say hi. What's up? Anything. Mention something about the project. If you have another project that you um, would uh, like for me to look into, I'd like to uh, just comment on the video about that. Also, you can uh, DM me if you want to join Blockchain Friends. Um, just DM me, or if you have a project yourself and you'd like for me to cover it, uh, just give me a mention, uh, just DM me or comment in the video, and I'll take a look at that, and uh, maybe we'll cover it. So, alright, well, y'all are beautiful, and I will see you next time.